Hey guys, it's Sherry with Sharon Sherry, and I am here to share with you a quick project that I made for Debbie Vignola. She is having a small challenge in which she's asking you to create four three by three note cards. I am. She she wanted something to be able to put in with uh, her happy mail or things that she sent. Just a small note card, and you make four of them for her. You put your name on the back. And what I came up with were these little matchbook style note cards. Um, I do have a very short process video at the end of this, towards the end of this video. So if you want to see how I put this together and what supplies I used, just stay tuned for that. That's at the end after after my my blabbing. <laughs> so anyways, this is what I came up with. Sweet little card, 3x3. Three three. I used um, a staple to secure it here and it's like a little matchbox you open it like this and then you can write in there Debbie can write in there and send it on its way so they're all pretty much the same it's just a little bit different image of a bird so there's this one and basically this one like I said, they're all just basically the, the same, just a little tiny bit of difference. So her challenge is still going on. If you want to join, I will link her channel in the description box below. I'll link the video. And Debbie, I hope you like these. And it's a great idea for a challenge. She's 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 gotten quite an awesome response. So lots of cool little three by threes, great inspiration over on her channel. So be sure and check her out. And stay tuned for the process video if you are interested. And thank you for watching. Toodles. Okay, guys, I'm just here to show you a quick little process video of how I made the matchbook style three by three cards. <clears throat> what I used is this Kane Company uh, specialty paper. This is gorgeous paper. I don't think you can find it anymore. I've been hoarding it, but I did. Um, pull it out <laughs> and <clears throat> I use this particular piece right here for the base of the cards um, and some card stock I also used oh, sorry about that I also used these adhesive borders they're acetate borders they're very 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 pretty and there's different ones in here and there was these birds is what I used and they're self-adhesive and I just cut these strips uh, I'll show you right now so I wanted to give you the measurements for the little card um, this little card that opens up I've already shown you this if you're, you've gotten this far you've seen this part already so you cut a piece of paper cardstock um, you can actually cut the pattern paper if you want however you want to do this so this piece is cut to three by six and a half. Three by six and a half, okay? And then you're going to score, got my, my scoring tool. You're going to score at three-fourths of an inch on the long side. Three-fourths, three and three-fourths, and three and seven eighths okay so that's your score marks I don't know if you can see those but again it's three fourths three and three fourths then plus an eighth or three and seven eighths whichever is easier for you to remember <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and how I did this one, um, I'll give you the measurements for this too. I cut another piece of cardstock at three fourths by, I think it's two and three fourths, and that's this little piece behind the bird here. Uh, for your matting, you're going to cut a piece at two and three fourths by two, and one at two and three fourths. I think this is by half an inch. So this one is the, sorry, that one was a little bit bigger. Okay, this one is the two and three fourths by two, two and three fourths by half an inch, if you want to mat it like I did. 
So here's your two and three fourths by half an inch and two and three fourths by two. This piece is two and three fourths by three fourths of an inch. Then what I did is I took a paper doily and I cut it in quarters. This one's a little bit lighter. But I cut it in quarters. I did trim it down on here. I saw where it was going to fit and I trimmed it down for the corner piece. So that was that. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I cut the piece of acetate trim at two, or excuse me, yeah, two and three fourths. And that goes on here like that. And this is self adhesive. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna ink this up. Just go ahead and fold on your score lines. And burnish those down. And that little gusset, it's at an eighth of eighth of an inch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this together. And what I used for my inking is just this Marby Matchable dye-based ink pad and one of the Tim Holtz little applicators. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink everything up. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and layer these pieces on here. And then what I did here was I just take, took my stapler. Where is my stapler? Uh -huh. I just had it. <laughs> oh my goodness. How does that happen? Where's my stapler? Oh, duh. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. And I just find the center and about a quarter of the way down. I don't, you don't want to go too far up. So I'm just stapling it. I don't know if you can see how far down. Just probably like an eighth of an inch into that cardstock. And just put a little staple there. Okay. Then what I did is again I cut this down just a little bit. I don't want it too far over. That and again that was I just cut this into fourths. So I need to cut it down a bit. So I'm gonna grab my cutter and cut that down probably to about right there. Just make a little mark with my fingernail. Grab my cutter. I'm just gonna cut that. Make sure it's square. That is going to go in the corner. It's hard to cut when it's such a small piece. Okay. And this, depending on where your bird is, you can put it on either side. I tried to get the bird over the um, doily piece. Probably shouldn't have done it that way. I can put it here. 
like this and then that that'll work that'll work okay so then I just put a little bit of glue very little because this paper sorry got the lid in my mouth I don't want the paper to warp so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on here Stick that in the corner. Oop. So and I'm gonna take this piece and put it right here. Let's see how that'll look. Yeah, that looks good. These are fun little cards. Okay. Like that right there. Okay. Now I need to cut this down to two and three fourths. Let me double check. Yeah, two and three fourths. So I will get my cutter again I might just trim off a little bit more on that side two and three fourths well no I'm gonna leave it right there two and three fourths I mean these have like a little adhesive backing Hard to get off, but they are there. I didn't even know I had another set of these, and I didn't even know they were adhesive backed. So you just pull off that backing, and then I just stuck this. Go down just here. Stuck that on there. And then what I did, I have these adhesive back pearls, and I just took my craft knife and took off three of them, and I stuck them up here over that doily piece. Hope those are even. And then I had, now where did they go? Um, these little flowers from Paper Studio, really, really cute. And I just glued with my crystal lacquer, or I don't know why I call it crystal lacquer, glossy accents right here. Put a little dab above that staple. And stick her down. So, anyways, that's very simple, fun, cute little matchbook three by threes. So, I hope Debbie likes them, and thank you guys for staying through my tutorial and I haven't um, put anything on the inside I don't know if I'm going to or not but that's my little creation thanks for watching toodles